hey, it's Tendani on more Martin Luther King Avenue, and I wanted to take the time out to tell you about a project that I recently did. I think this project is one of my most meaningful projects because through my artwork, I was able to be able, I was able to touch the lives of a lot of people who are in a tight situation and could use some inspiration. I would describe this project as environmental therapy. I was uh, producing murals in a private facility that is home to a lot of people who have uh, a lot of challenges and obstacles to overcome in their life. And they need a lot of mental clarity. They need a lot of focus. They need a calming and soothing environment. The environment is pretty dry, so it helps boost it up a little bit. One thing was take the first step. So I actually did not really conceptualize it fully until I got in front of the wall on the um, on the lift that took me about 12 feet in the air. I took a circular shape and I pretty much uh, created another world where steps actually walk you up into this window that looks out into a city. I'm happy to be engaged in an environmental therapy project like this because it has a lot of impact on people's lives. And I think uh, one of the most meaningful things I can do through art is have the meaningful, inspirational, encouraging, you know, impact on somebody's life. So Trump Lowell is basically the technique that I use here. Trump Lowell is the art of deceiving the eyes, the art of taking a, paint, taking a wall and painting a series of windows on the wall to make it look like you're looking outside. I had a dove at first um, that was floating in the sky with the orchid in its beak, but I had to take that out. So remove the dove, but you can't even really tell I removed it at all. Um, taking the first step, I think, is, is, is empowering to a lot of people. I think uh, taking the first step is an idea that can get somebody going uh, when they're in a tight situation, when they have obstacles to overcome. Because sometimes it's like you wait for the perfect opportunity to overcome something. You wait for, um, you just wait, you know, for something to happen. But taking the first step, making an effort for all of us, no matter what type of situation we may be in. And another thing was um, adjusting our attitudes. You know, a part of, you know, um, overcoming obstacles, you know, and rehabilitating your mind is, um, you know, adjusting your attitude, you know, your outlook on life, your perception of reality. Sometimes, you know, making these certain attitude adjustments helps open up doors for yourself. Sometimes it helps you grow your network you know it, it sometimes it attracts the right thing to you and you and you walk towards the right things just by the way you think about things Um, I had a picture given to me that was very clear about what it should be and I embellished it a little bit and again it's Trump Lowell so you see this wall but then when you look through you saw uh, you see a whole, uh, a whole nother world outside of the wall and it's clouds you know playing clouds are not easy and they're not hard but 
they're time consuming. And if you get in the groove, you could breeze through them. But I, I spent a lot of time painting the clouds. But it was fun painting the clouds. I enjoyed painting the clouds. There's a lot of clouds. I hadn't painted clouds in a long time. So I had to get my stroke going, but I'm satisfied with how they came out. Didn't get much video footage, so I gotta show you still images of it. Studies prove that environmental therapy works. Uh, studies also show that the nature of colors has an impact on the spirit as well. You know, why does McDonald's and Wendy's use reds and yellows and oranges a lot? Because those colors appeal to your appetite. Uh, why do people use blues and greens in environments that promote calming and healing? Because blues and greens, they, they, they stimulate those properties. There's a, there's a science to all colors. And environmental therapy not only uses color, scheme but it also uses imagery i look forward to more opportunities to do environmental therapy and if you need environmental therapy in your facility you can holler at me tadonistudio.com is how you see my portfolio and um, that's how you can contact me as well yeah. art breeds life people art breeds life art breeds life <laughs>